Hi, uh, John here. Just pick up from the video. Thing is just ducked away to a hui in the radio station. But so I'll just pick up from where I left off. Um, he's got a lot going on, which is very difficult to be on the same level of thought. So I'll just continue on from where I left off. When he came in, I was hoping that I would have him on the camera, but he's um, fixed on other uh, topics that he's working day here at the station. I didn't want to interfere with what his work is. But just to spend a moment with him uh, so that we can set the stage for him and his ariki status. He said he's already an ariki. I, I don't know until he tells me. And so that's fine because I can relay that back uh, to the hapus. It's just well, I didn't say to them to do that because I won't do that until he says so. Uh, but that was in the back of my mind to make sure that he has his ariki status because he told me before that he wants to be that status because I'm recording all this and putting it on the record uh, when we move as one. Um, and with all the hapus onto his marae um, at this stage um, we're dealing with customary land and bits of land here, there and everywhere that um, the hapu is still connected to their land when I'm looking at the whole of the land is the whole country and that's what the paramount chiefs are taking care of but Kingi has the most crucial piece of land in this country and that's where the Titiriti of Waitangi was signed and the treaty was signed and the Waitangi Marae on the other side of the bridge. Um, now that um, uh, the trustees have gone on that side off Titi Marae it presents more problems for the hapu um, <clears throat> in their areas to come together inside Titi Marae now that it's I'm treating it as a bare piece of land now with the trustees of Titi Marae as the uh, Tomata Komatu of that Marae as to the other Tomata Komatu from north and from Hokianga and from other parts of Ngāpui. I'm dealing with Ngāpui Northern Tribes at the moment with the flag, the 1834 flag, not the 1835 flag. I'll just find it very difficult to be on a one-to-one -one talk with him when he's focused on his radio station and uh, um, have issues in their meetings, which is nothing to do with me. I'm only lucky that he said to come and see him uh, without too much interference with his normal working day on the station. I appreciate him having a couple of minutes with me. Um, so now I can get some something down on paper to present to the Paramount Chiefs are operating quite differently. They're, they're operating a commercial trading bank business at the present time with Bundy, Waitai, Hirinui, Hirini Kraka and Manai Parapara Mahini. They are operating as commercial landowners. Kingi is a ariki, spiritual uh, kaitiaki, different set of rules. Um, he has the native title as well as um, his own hapu title to that particular land block, the Waitangi 23 block and also the uh, TB3 block that I've got the titles, the original titles for. So I'm going to put him into being the oldest there on that marae as the kingpin to go to Britain, not in the other marae but there to Westminster because that, I'm following the trail back from there to the Waitangi marae and um, um, to the outlying marae after that. We've already opened up the grand jury native magistrate court in Waitangi Marae on the other side and also on Titi Marae. That Waitangi one was opened up on the 16th of April 2016 
and the Kiti Marae Stavros Waitangi Marae King's Bench Native Grand Jury Trial Magistrate Court. Straight to Westminster Magistrate Court and straight to uh, Edinburgh Magistrate Court. The Admiralty of the Ship and the 1834 Declaration of War flag that creating all the wars in the world with the Queen. We're going to seize that offer with these paramount chiefs. They know what to do now, I'm just telling Kingy. They know what to do now. And it appears that he already knows it's been flicking around up in Northern Radio, Maori Radio, uh, Tutoko. And uh, so it's, uh, it's uh, well known now what our intentions are to get his land back. We want his land back. This is the only way to do it. Uh, go back to the original customary title and reverse the uh, crown titles that are now fraudulent um, uh, on the land. You can't talk RIT to a commercial entity uh, in trusts. Uh, it can only be done commercially as set up by the king and talk king talk. So that's all I wanted to say on this video for now. I'll wait till he comes and see if he wants to say something or two. But if not, we'll just take that as a response from him. Uh, from what he's saying and what I'm saying to him, uh, to fix it on the record. And I'll make this video um, available to uh, the Paramount Chiefs and those who are watching those videos and learning something new that was always there from old the two punas of old and in particular the Moriori Manukau title in Edinburgh, uh, Scotland that's um, created all the titles here in this country and the world for that matter. Uh, they're starting to begin to see that now and Carla is uh, looking after the uh, commercial side of the trust, the, the Waitangi uh, Marae trust itself and the Tomata Komatua will look after that side of the commercial trading bank business and they haven't um, really been had, a, had a, a straight run without the tempering interference of the Watangi National Trust on the other side of the bridge tempering with their trust and every other trust in this country they're going to get um, uh, um, a court hearing right in front of the Paramount Chiefs on the Hiku at the Ika Marae up north, I'm going to do that to you on the 18th, 19th, 20th of August 2017. And down to Te Marae, we have that hearing there for seizing the lands back. And that's what I've been trying to do for a long time with Kini. It's very difficult. It's better to get him on a, a Saturday or Sunday when he's not at work. And that way I can talk to him one on one. It's very difficult when he's got other matters going on right in the middle of talking. Uh, straight talk. Okay, so he's confused with what's really going on and it's been spun around that much That's why it goes nowhere. This is the first time this has ever happened with this British um, uh, Moriori Manukau title coming onto the scene now to split open all the fraud in this country That's been spinning around 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 won't go away until the Chiefs Paramount and the flag is put in its right place and myself the sheriff to build their charge all the fraud in this country and the Pacific Islands for that matter on our original titles and memorials. Okay thank you very much. Uh, on this video it's Wednesday today the 5th of July 2017. I'll just wait for the king to come back and then we'll try and get a video with him. Okay bye.